Uh, hey guys, it's Urban Ford, and welcome back to another WWF toy review. Nostalgia has entered the building. I cannot wait to show you guys this. But before I do, if you want more content like this in the future, smack the like button, subscribe the bell icon, turn on so you never miss an upload. If you guys watch this video all the way through, you're part of the awesome squad. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And remember, at 100k subscribers on this channel, I'm doing a huge giveaway, thousand dollar giveaway, and more. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, also, my main channel, right up here, I play WWF No Mercy, I play a lot of cool games, pranks, vlogs, skateboarding, so much stuff up in this on this channel, and at 3K subscribers up here, I'm doing a giveaway as well, involves playsets. So, oh my god, I am so excited for this, guys, you have no idea. Before I do anything with this video, take a look at this nostalgia right here. No. Something. It all starts with Titantron Live. Hit the stage and Titantron Live hits the light, blast the pictures, and rocks 10 WWF Superstar theme songs all automatically. Because nobody goes through the road before they go through the Titantron. Playtime's over. Titantron Live is Vincent Manitron Active Figure. Other Tron Active Figures with special sensors and rings. Dude, I love the commercial now. Back in the day when I was growing up, when I was a lot younger, I grew up in the Attitude Era. So WWF was amazing. Watch Stone Cold on TV, Kane, Undertaker, The Rock, Big Show, you know, Mankind, have a nice day! All those people made my childhood. So, with that being said, one of the best figure lines in my book, the Titantron Live figures, along with the Titantron Live playset, is one of my favorite playsets of all time when it comes to wrestling. Let's go check it out. i got to show you guys this. I have to. Be prepared to be buried. Taker, leave me alone. Oh my god, here we are in the kitchen. WWF Titan Tron Live territory. Now, guys, I want to show you guys this playset, obviously, because it means a lot to me. And it's just so cool. So, what if you guys don't know what Titan Tron Live is? Titan Tron Live was a big playset like this. It was a huge stage. And all you had to do was pull out with like a barcode or two little metal bars on this little metal bar right here, and it would light up and uh, make sound effects and play the Superstars theme song. So obviously you can see Kane, Undertaker, Stone Cold, The Rock, Gangrel, um, Road Dog. It's me, it's me, it's the old double G. And X-Pac, ew, Vince McMahon. And have a nice day, Mankind. And then it'll play the Raw theme song or random theme song. This little logo right here just kind of, if it had to recognize who you were trying to put on the Tron, it would just light up that. So comes with this cool little ramp, these um, removable, lights that you have to put on manually um, and you're probably wondering airborne why the hell do you have two titantrons out well I'm gonna show you why so I found a variant pretty much if you take these are removable and you could take them off and switch out the uh, these little cloth pads which is really cool so it says war zone but if you look that's completely different it's a different lock-in so it locks in differently because this one, by the way, this one doesn't work. This was one that was just laying around. I have like five of these. Um, don't ask me why, but I do. Mostly from lots. So if I go ahead and take this piece off, now all of a sudden, okay, there we go. Okay, beautiful. So as you can see, this one's like a square and this one's like a cut out. It's, it's weird. It's so weird because that's the way the time is supposed to be. But anyway, you get the gist of it. You're supposed to take them out and you can switch them out and stuff. It's pretty cool. Or you could take this off. And, oh my god, and that's also a variant too. So you can see right there where you have to put them in. That's not the case. Because you can pop them off like this. And then pull them out. So that's another variant. That's weird. That's really weird. So if you're a completist, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so these pop right out, which is a pain in the butt. You're also probably wondering, Airborne, why the hell do you have people out here, like superstars, that don't even go with the Tron playset? Well, I'll tell you why. These Titan Tron Live figures, if it's a Titan Tron Live, they'll have these little marks on the bottom of their feet where they were supposed to go on the Tron. Well, little history lesson here. So obviously back in the day, 1999, around 2000s, Edge, Christian, and Gangrel, they were all the brood. So they would have the same theme song. So technically you could use all three characters for one song, which is really cool. Same thing with DX. Um, same thing with Triple H. 
Triple H, he most certainly plays Vince McMahon's music because it was Stephanie McMahon Helmsley era. It was the Helmsley uh, McMahon era. So, and obviously the Titantron Live came with this Vince McMahon. First of Vince McMahon I figure I ever had when I was a kid. So let's go ahead and try this out, shall we? So we're going to line the barcode up right on this. And these should light up, but the ones that I put on the ramp will not light up. But let's see. Sometimes it also plays different superstar theme songs by accident, so. Now, entering the Titan Tron! Oh, you know oh, my God! Well, anyway, that's Road Dog's theme song, so. That was a fail. Let's try this again. Come on, Vinny Mac. Let's go, Vinny Mac. Beautiful. Oh, that is so awesome. Here I am in 2023. Playing a Titan Tron Live. And it just does that a million times. Now, I'm not going to play every single one of them. Um, I'm just going to show you that some of them work with others. Uh, that was kind of a funny intro. But let's go Gangrel here. Let's have Gangrel play it. Oh. There we go. Let's see what superstar theme it plays. There we go. Awesome! That's so cool! If you're an old school wrestling fan, you're really gonna enjoy this. So that's so sick. Now let's show you what I was talking about earlier. Uh, we got Christian here. He was part of the brood. So it, it should, should play Gangrel's theme song. Let's see. Now, entering the Titan should play Gangrel's theme song because he's part of the brood. Yes. So that that's how that kind of works. So you can use... That one theme for three different people, which is amazing. Triple H should play Vince McMahon's music because he's his son-in-law. There we go. Entering the Titan Tron. Yep, so he would use his theme music. Let's try Road Dogs one more time with the actual Road Dog figure, not Vince McMahon. Well, that worked really good. By the way, best Road Dog figure of Titan Tron Live. He looks so good. Amazing. Love it. Don't like the the remixes are kind of annoying, but here we go. The Rock says <laughs> let's let's just give this a shot. Here we go. Come on, Rock. Don't let us down. Don't worry guys, I'll show you the box art after I'm all done with playing uh, the all the theme songs, the box in the background. I'll show you guys the box in a minute. Let's get Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin wants to play his theme music. What? Stone Cold Steve Austin's having trouble. There we go. Entering the Titan Tron. Longest theme song ever because of how over Stone Cold was. Okay. Have a nice day! Now, entering the Titan Tron! Let's go ahead and put X Pac on there.
Good lord, I'm ready for that music to stop. Uh, Shane McMahon most likely is going to play Vince's theme. See, it does that clicking sound. It's just, it's trying to work, but it's... No. There we go. Most certain is going to play his father's theme music. Yeah, obviously. Got the same chip in him. My favorite reason why I started watching wrestling in the first place and did pro wrestling is because of this man right here. Let's play Kane's steam music. Beautiful. Now let's play his brothers, The Undertaker. Yes, Undertaker. He almost can't fit through it. I've heard that so many times. Let me guys show you the box here. So it says WWF recognizes Titantron live action figures. Place figure on Titantron. Place figure signature theme. Stage and video screen light up. So there's the picture of it. Old school WWF logo instead of the Attitude Era logo, which is really weird. Of course, it's from Jack Specific. It says, try the Titan Tron featuring Stone Cold Steve Austin's entrance music. War Wrestling Federation. Here's Vinnie Mac right here. Includes Titan Tron Live, Vince McMahon. So you got a cool figure with it as well. And it even says up here the music that it plays. So it says Undertaker, Kane, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Brood. Mankind, Monday Night Raw, No Chance, Degeneration X, New Age Outlaws theme. So that's really sick. Really sick. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around. And here are all the figures that you can collect on the back of the box. This is my favorite part. One of my favorite reasons why I bought when we got play sets. To look at the back of the box. That's why I used to keep them around for so long. So fortunately I already have all of these. But I mean that that is it. It says are you tough enough? Are you tough as Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock to Titan Tron Live place that will tell you? Place one or two of your figures on the metal strips of the platform and see whose entrance theme you activate. That, but that Titan Tron Live is not accurate at all because no Titan Tron Live ever looked like that. Be, I mean, the Gangrel one probably, but in the cane maybe, but that's so sick. So, guys. That was the WWF Titan Tron Live review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's some assembly stuff if you want to see that. Um, if you guys did, smack the like button, subscribe to the bell icon, turn on. So never set up when you guys don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later. That was a trip to memory lane.